All right, guys. I decided to do a little bit of educational video, mostly on light bulbs. Because many of you may know or may not know, 2014, the incandescent bulbs are pretty much going to stop getting manufactured. They'll still be able to find them because they got tons of warehouses full of them, but they'll stop manufacturing the incandescent bulbs, along with the uh, <clears throat> T12 and not energy efficient T8 tube bulbs and halogen bulbs. Now, I don't have any of the new halogen bulbs or energy efficient bulbs. A lot of them are called Helgina. But what, what's going to be replaced in the incandescent are going to be your CFL bulbs and your LED bulbs, your energy efficient T8s, <clears throat> and your Helginas and your energy efficient halogens. Now, a lot of people are all, oh, oh, I can't use these bulbs. I got mercury in them. We're all going to die. Blah, blah, blah. Look at you, smackety. Fact is, a CFL, compact fluorescent, is still a fluorescent bulb. Fluorescent bulbs have been around since, I think, before the 30s. They've been around for a long time. This is not new science. It's it, it, compact fluorescent. I had fluorescent lights in my cabin, and my cabin is 100 and something years old. The original lights were fluorescent lights. Give it a rest, guys. Quit crying. And um, Home Depot and other companies will actually, if you break them or you know they go bad, you take them to the store, they'll dispose of them for free for you. There you go. You don't got to find the hazmat or whatever people are whining about. A lot of people don't like the look of the swirly bulbs. So this right here is actually also... It's really bulb, they just put a casing over it, so it looks like a light bulb. This is a shorter one, but that's also CFL, use a lot less energy. Um, the ballast are actually bomb bases are the ballast that transfers the power up to here. <clears throat> one thing to remember about CFLs is that unless they are specified to be dimmable, you cannot dim CFLs. You will burn out your dimmer. And it's wise to get a CFL LED up-to-date dimmer. They are different. They have changed them. The dimmers will still work on the incandescents, but they're made specifically for the ballast in the LED and a CFL. So, and most dimmable CFLs will have an orange sticker that says dimmable on them. So when you're shopping for them. They do cost a little more right now, but if you got to dim them, you got to get them. And in a the CFL, they make floodlights that look like floodlights, par 38s, par 30s, par 40s, um, they got a par 20, just about every you think of in the CFL, and they also have them in the Helgina, the, the energy efficient halogens, and LED, they have them LED. Now, CFLs are 65 to 75 more efficient than the incandescents, our old school bumps, last longer than incandescents, are more shock, you know, vibration, <coughs> Vibration doesn't affect them as much these, you know, if you shook these too much, the flint would break out in them, and they'd be junk. <clears throat> LED, 85 to 90% more energy efficient than the incandescent. Right now, pretty high priced. Prices, you know, they have been dropping, and by 2014, they'll probably drop significantly. Uh, besides being energy efficient, they're very durable. I do weigh quite a bit more than your regular light bulb. This is a kind of a funky style, but they do have them that look just like a regular bulb, just like that, but in LED. Uh, this right here is a 40 watt daylight bulb, which also is coming daylight. CFLs come in daylight, which is good for work areas, anywhere you want to do. Uh, you want energy. All your bright whites and your soft whites are more relaxing. You know, we want to relax or something. If you want to read a book, you want daylight. If you want to work on a car, you want daylight. Besides that, this right here only uses 9 watts of electricity. 9 watts. And this thing lights up a room. Uh, well, let's say about LED. It doesn't get hot. Now, the ballast will get hot if left for a long time down here. But the actual surface where the light comes on, it gets lukewarm. Uh, CFLs, they get... Warm, not hot. You can actually still touch them. Where in incandescence, you would cook yourself. Literally, cook yourself. So, that's about all I got right now. <clears throat> if I get some more bulbs in, I will most definitely bring them in and let you guys know, you know, what you, what you need to know about them.
These are probably you know the best option, of course, but right now they're most expensive. And uh, for everybody out there that has the whole mercury scare and stuff, uh, it's nothing to whine about. Like I said, fluorescent lights been around forever. Every place who ever went shopping, if you look at the ceiling, there's fluorescent bulbs up there. Every business you've ever been in, there's fluorescent bulbs in there. Since you were kids, and since your parents were kids, and probably since your grandparents were kids, there's fluorescent bulbs in there. So it's just people mad because they don't like change. They're going around saying how horrible this is. It's no more horrible than it was back then. All right, guys. Well, take care. Have a great day. And I'll come back for some more for you.